This is the Power Cracker. And no, that's not what I call myself in the privacy of my own home. It's the name of this bootleg console released in 2011, despite the packaging saying 2013. The console boasts that it has 76,000 games, and that it's the greatest game machine in the planet, so my bar is pretty high going in. Another thing boosting my expectations are these amazing pictures on the back, which are seemingly just one of the 76,000 games on, I mean, in the console. You have to be older than 12 though, since there's a choking hazard for kids 12 and under. The console is actually a plug and play built into this controller that has the worst joystick I've ever felt since it barely moves and only moves in four directions. It's also got fake shoulder buttons, feels very light and cheap, and rattles because it's probably a feature. There's a second controller that's just a simplified version of the previous controller if you're looking for some two player action and a light gun, I mean power gun. These both plug into the main controller so I'm assuming some games make use of that although light guns only work on CRT TVs anyway, so I can't test that out. Enough about the console and packaging though, let's see how this absolute beast performs and if it was worth the 16 bucks I paid for it. So let's see, how to play, step 2. This TV has built-in games, you may play these games. Thanks for giving me permission. Upon booting the console up, you're greeted by this lifeless menu screen, but you'll actually see there are 76,000 games. Mm, let's see if there's a catch later. The menu screen isn't entirely lifeless, as there's actually a constant droning noise that never goes away, even while playing games. So let's try out some of these games. Contour. Um, what could that be? Oh, it's just a misspelled contra. Calculator is just Donkey Kong Jr. math, and my favorite, Mice Love Cat, is just Mappy, because mice are chasing a cat, I guess. Once you actually look at the list of games for more than five seconds, you see that most of them aren't even renamed, like they're not even trying to hide it. So why'd they bother renaming some of them if they're not gonna hide the rest? There's really only 73 unique titles, according to the Power Cracker wiki, which is a thing for some reason, and they just repeat the same games over and over again throughout the entire 76,000 game library. So maybe the packaging was just stretching the truth a bit. I will say the emulation in terms of game feel is good, which is the one thing you really want to be correct, but some of these games do make me go blind from how bright or fuzzy they can look. The sound is also just off, like the pitch is different to how it should be, so Pac-Man ends up sounding like this. Well, I was planning on making this video longer, but I think you get the gist of it. If you want a physical console with terrible feeling controllers to play a bunch of emulated NES games, then the Power Cracker might be worth 16 bucks. Nothing about it makes sense, like why does the controller have 6 buttons, a D-pad, and an analog stick, but the games only use 2 buttons and a D-pad? At its core, it's a console designed to trick grandmas and children. I don't really know what to take away from all this, uh, thanks for watching. Give me money on Patreon so I don't feel guilty about buying this, and be sure to like and subscribe.